Or maybe we'll camp in it and go all the way across the country. Oh my gosh. We're at the Dollar General. They sell Crocs here. Messy bun? Before the butt crack of dawn working. We don't have to tell the kids. When your kids know about bug balls. Get out of here. <laughs> things that you get in the trailer park. What's going through her head right now? That's unfortunate. Oh, microwave full of matches, that's good. Some of that stuff is pretty terrible. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just throw it in the dry leaves, that's fine. That's the blowhole. Why do you love selfie videos? What the kiss? You want me to do it? Here, I'll do no, it. I, I don't know, maybe I don't have this on What the heck, Car? What the heck? It's nasty. Wonderful, we need that. This is a slice of cheese. Ah, oh, I think that moved. Hannah's pickled pig feet. Give it all the bleach. Super dirty. It's kind of leaking. Yeah. Oh, geez. Otherwise, I think we're good. The paint's coming off. Then you'd be good. Cheese and beef, Clark. The coffee can? Honey, our mattress. Think we can camp in it? No. It's um something. Well, you can tell when they've been lived in by a crackhead. Yes. You know it was your family. I don't know. I just work here. I think that's illegal. I probably will get sprayed with poop. <laughs> oh, no. no. Is it locked? Don't touch those wires, honey. Steaming pot of bainas. They done blow the casing. That's a dumb pop. You're going to rip the wall off the motorhome. I don't think you've ever done this before. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Welcome back to Sleep Dude Channel. We got some more RV videos for you today. But unfortunately, it's not on the Mini Winnie because the last time we drove it, it lost oil pressure, like you can see right here. And that was a sad day. And the kids are off on summer break, and we're kind of in a hurry to go somewhere on a trip in an RV this summer. So one just came up for sale on Marketplace, and we're going to go check it out, see if it's worth camping in or if it's worth buying and using for parts for this one or whatever. So let's go find out. Breaking news. We're just relaxing at the house here. It's got a fuel injected 460 in it. it. Should have an E4OD, so even if, you know, we couldn't use it as a motorhome, it might be a good donor vehicle. So we're gonna go check it out real quick. Oh, here it is. Wow, this is extremely close to our house. Oh, it has a sign. How do we not see this before now? No idea. Well, shows 57,000 miles. The pedals aren't wore out. It's got an overdrive uh, transmission. I'm assuming it's a 460. I haven't opened the hood, but it's got a lot of water damage in it. It's really, really got some water damage in here. I don't know for sure if it's salvageable. Probably was really nice back when it was new. Man, it's kind of rough now. It's got a 460 in it. Are we gonna yeah. use it for camping? We, we'll have to see how I can clean it. We'll see. I don't know. It's gotta be worth 1250 bucks for the engine transmission. 50,000 mile 460 and an E4OD. Might end up in a Fairmont if we don't camp in this thing. Yeah, this thing, it's gotta be worth that much for parts. It's got a big bow here from the water damage, so I really don't know if this thing's fixable. But you never know. It might can. We'll have to get it home and see what's salvageable and what's not in here. I didn't even open that door or this one. Right, we're gonna try to drive this thing home now. Like, if the YouTube thing don't work out, we could live in it. It's gonna cost you probably $100 in bug bomb for me though. <laughs> get in it? Get in it. <laughs> Yeah. 
Plus, it is a camper. You're not really going to drive it much. Right, you're not going to drive it every day. Oh, we're taking the trees out. Are you going to have to fix the roof? We'll have to get out there and see. It has a ladder on the back. Oh, so, does. if nothing else, we can use parts on this thing for the other one. It runs and drives, it has brakes and the casings, hold air, and it's, you know, the largest thing we've ever owned. Magical. And just the parts alone, we can use the parts off of it if nothing else, you know? I like or maybe it. we'll camp in it and go all the way across the country in it this summer. Yes, that's what I, I think we should just keep it like it is and just clean up the inside and maybe have to fix the roof. What do you think about it, Rocky? You think it's worth fixing? You don't care? You just gonna eat mom's banana tree? Uh -huh. Snacks for walkie snacks. Oh, uh, you're gonna spoil snacks. him. Yeah, him good boy. You could live in it too. Oh yeah, he'd definitely find something to eat in there if we let him in there. We might just camp in it. Who knows? Let's get it cleaned up and see. We gotta take the guy's battery back to him. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic, Classic move. Classic. Buying a car and you gotta bring the battery back, but we're gonna go get some bug bombs and set off this thing before we go crawling in it. Uh, uh, as long as it doesn't have an SNAKE in it, I'm good. Oh, I'd take the snakes over the bugs. I'd sleep in that thing tonight. Oh my god! I, I promise y'all. I'd never sleep with you again. <laughs> you know where we are. <laughs> We're at the Dollar General. <laughs> it's the only thing in our town. Tell them how we met the Dollar General. I think it would make a good story if we did. It's basically the mile markers in Tennessee. It's just you just base everything <laughs> off of Dollar Gentles. Do they have a jumbo pack, you think? They should. You'd think in Tennessee they would have a jumbo pack on uh, bug bombs. Do they sell crocs here? Honey, what's what's that stuff? I never seen it for my life. We need the bulk pack. We might need them and them. Hey, I'm getting it all. I am getting it all. And now your parents will finally have a place to retire. <laughs> Do you need a new ashtray? It's a smokeless one. So I got one of each. Okay. After I kill everything, then I'll go back through and Oh, you're going to double kill. They don't have this in a bomb here at the Dollar General. Uh. Is see bun? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us work for a living, okay? I was up before the butt crack of dawn working. Thank you. We got milk duds, honey. We don't have to tell the kids. Enough said. They got casing at the Dollar General. I cannot believe it. I hadn't bought any here. They were totally out of candy, guys. I'm sorry. There's a shortage. You're welcome. We'll throw the bug bombs in it and then we'll uh, go check it out tonight, you know? It'll only take two hours. <laughs> Serious. When your kids know the details about bug bombs, that's when you know you've been a good parent. <laughs> that's right. That's my boy. <laughs> take a peek here. The roof, you can see it's got some damage up there from water. Must have happened at 425, I guess. We didn't even look in here. Oh, so that's a shower. What's in here? This is a closet or something? Oh, it's a bathroom. Where do I need to put one, though? You can put it up there in that top thing when he's ready. Hold your breath. Click it down. Evacuate. Evacuate. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> We wait for like four hours. You see it? Yeah. You see it's good. Yeah, it's going, going, isn't it? So that's gonna kill any of the crawlies that are in there. All right, do your magic, bub bomb. Okay, it's been four hours now, and Ralphie tells me that that's plenty of time for it to kill everything in sight in here. So we're gonna open up all the doors and let this thing air out and uh, get in there and see what's in there. Right, Ralphie? Yeah, you open that door. Like how many hours does it take to kill things that you get in the trailer park? Mm. Evidently four. Huh, it's still got the original four mats. Yeah, get, get some air. Hey, Ralphie. Nice. I guess that doesn't open there. Yeah, if these walls could talk. We'll give it some time to air out and we'll come back and check this out. You gonna climb up? It's probably the only one loud enough to walk on the roof, not I'm fall all the way through. On the lightest one. What does it look like? Moldy, black, kind of something. Has air conditioning. 
just kind of sunk in. Wow. <laughs> It's a big moment for him. Walk out there and see what happens. He is moving a lot, isn't it? I know. Okay, we'll come back to this. What's going through her head right now? <laughs> Ow! You threw that and hit me. Quit. Do you think we have the keys to any of these locks down through here? Ooh. That's unfortunate. I wonder how much fuel it holds. Mm. A war pension worth. Easy. Yeah, so that should be a 460 and a E4OD. So Heavy dookie stuff, fuel injected with overdrive. So you got a bed up here for two. You got a bed here for two kids, probably. You got a big bed back there. Look at this little tiny stove, Magic Chef. Oh, microwave full of matches, that's good. Ralphie. Matches. Match. Ralphie loves his matches. Love match. What was this? That's where your refrigerator was. It vented out. Oh, that's the refrigerator spot. Well, here's your shower, Ralphie. I don't think I can fit in that. I think by the time I stand up there, I'm going to be touching the roof. Washpers. This door yeah. works for that door and shuts off the bedroom, I guess. Are you going to put a different mattress in here? I would say so. Yeah. It's empty. That's your closet. No. It all has pull-out drawers. Well, that's good. So much storage. I like it. Ooh, that's not really attached to it anymore. She's seen a lot of water. You think? I must not use that toilet. I like that toilet. Yeah. Well, some of that stuff's not bad. And some of that stuff is pretty terrible. I got some plates. So the AC unit... The knob is missing for the fan speed, but the cool and hot setting still works. We should plug this thing in. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just throw it in the dry leaves. That's fine. Yeah. I wouldn't have paid so much if I'd known they weren't no good. Put some bleach on the outside of this thing, okay? All right, me and Ralphie here are putting his vacuum cleaner together, and we are going to work on this motorhome that we picked up this weekend, see if we can get it cleaned up. You getting it? Yeah. She just got the butter knife. You have to have the filter. You mess your thing up. Wait. Dad don't on his vacuum. Yes, he does. He don't. The only time he doesn't have it is if, it's doing, if he's doing wet. Oh. You good now? Yeah. Oh, whoa. That's the blowhole. So you. Not the suction hole. <laughs> Are we good to go now? Yeah. So we were hoping to be able to keep it over here in the shade under this tree so it's not so hot, but our extension cord won't reach. So now we gotta try and move it. Don't we have to like get a battery and stuff? <sighs> I have a question. What? Why do you love selfie videoing? Uh, who else is going to video? It's me and you. You going to video me? <laughs> you can video me. But... Okay, I'll video you. Uh, do you know where a battery is? In the shop. Go get us a battery. We'll see if we can drive this thing. Okay. I can't get one. You can't carry the battery? No, they're like super heavy. I, thought I you had... can, but I'm like... I thought you had Ralphie power. I do. She got the battery. I hope this is a good battery. Yeah. Where's this supposed to go? With the kiss? Just sit it right does. there. And black goes on. The negative. And red's positive? Yes. I'm very positive. The, that red's positive? Yes. Or black's positive? Red's positive. I absolutely hate hitting a the, battery and battery cables. I hate that. Yes. Black's negative. Wait. Yeah. Black's negative. Put the black on the mine. It, you want me to do it? Here, I'll do no, it. Why don't you yes, Google it? yes. Just Google it. You said the red was positive, right? Yeah. They're trying to, look at this. It's black over janky red. Like, we sure this is the red one? Yes, Mom. Try. I'm trying. It's, it quit buzzing. Something. I think it came loose. I don't know. Maybe I don't have this on there good enough. Here, hit it on, yeah. I'd rather get a shot from the doctor than do this. What the heck? Maybe that battery wasn't good? It's that battery. I'm not going to get a different battery. Are you kidding me? Battery holler. What is this? 
<laughs> what are you doing? Making pee ground like you put in your rocks. Get it, girl. Get it. <laughs> What's that walk that you have going on? <laughs> your casings are flat, bro. One of them. Oh, this ain't going to work. Now what? You can get the go-kart, take them over there. You want to help me? Pull it. All right, well, you just get ready to drive. Okay, black's negative, right? Yes. Are you sure that's on the negative side? Yeah. The minus. Yes. Okay. What the heck are? <sighs> Go move them cables around. I love this door handle. It's just... Yeah. What the hey? What's wrong with it? You got no gas in it. <laughs> Can we just do it from here and get another extension cord and get this over with? Go see if there's one in my garage. So I'm headed home from work. I got a couple phone calls today. Is this battery good or that battery good? I'm kind of wondering what they got done today. So let's get home and see what they've done. So you couldn't get the motor home to start? No. Did you give it the old twist? Yeah. Whenever I would twist it, the sound would come it, on. The buzzer would buzz. Yeah. Well, it worked at his house. Maybe we should take it back to his house and try it. You know, science. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Something to do tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> yeah, we got a pretty bad caliper leak on the uh, passenger front there. Uh, yeah, definitely got a leak there. Quit revving it up. <laughs> All right, so me and Ralphie here are gonna day two of motorhome. We finally got it moved. Dad moved it to where we needed it. So we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. It's nasty. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking out some of the trash looking through the cabinets. Hey, trash can. It's like a bumper, a piece of a bumper. Paper plate. I'm not sure how I could sleep in here when I can't even hardly walk through here. Are you ever going to get in that shower? Probably not. Look, I left a towel. Wonderful. We need that. So we are about to experience my worst nightmare, a nasty mattress. I would rather shoot my little toe with a BB gun or maybe even cut it off than touch this nasty mattress. Get it? <laughs> Give me a second to assess the situation, okay? It's so crammed in here. I like it. Oh, I think that moved. Is there anything in there? It's heavy. I wonder why. You no, know, that's just disgusting. 
I'm already itching. How are we gonna get this out of here? Oh my gosh. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. You got this. Probably do. Just leave it there. It'll be fine. Come on. It's only 100 degrees in here. True. It is very hot. Is it heavy and disgusting? Oh yeah. Okay. You got this. Really possible. Read it. Disgusting. Just fluff it out. Got to go. Good job. Storage. Oh, there's your sewage stuff, I'm pretty sure. Oh jeez. Mm -hmm. Where's you some house? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. There you go. One way. One way. Oh, I'm gonna find you. Okay. There's definitely no fixing this right here. It's got to go. I think they put that on top of it to make sure it's more stable, you know? Checking it out, Penelope. But first, a word from our sponsors. Hannah's Pickled Pig Feet. Ready to eat right out of the can. Can't think of what to take to that next family get-together? Hannah's Pickled Pig Feet are the perfect thing. And after your whole family gets done chewing on these piggies, you got all that vinegar to sit your bolts in to clean all the rust off. Now back to our regularly scheduled broadcast. Okay, so I'm going to see about pulling some of this crap down. Okay. Around that probably. Yummy! I'm gonna haul us out of here. Man, Rocky, we should have had you use to the vacuum. You'd have got all the little stuff, huh? I'm just looking for some animal crackers. And this well animal crackers all the time. Yeah. Okay, so just to go to a quick little walk around before. Me and Bub start washing this thing. She nasty. It's been a minute since it's been clean. Inside or out. Got some greenness. Fungi. We've been working on it all morning. Daddy's at work. And uh, we're just trying to get some stuff done so he can edit some videos. <laughs> Here's my pile of rubbish I've pulled out there so far. So let's get the bleach. All right, so here's the ooey gooey goodness on top. It's very it's not stable. It's hot, buddy. All right, Ralphie, you're going to wash up the buckets. Yeah. Rinse them and I'll get some bleach. Give it all the bleach. That's disgusting. You could probably put bleach on the mat. Sprayed off the top of it, all the like the back half. We got bleach on it. We're gonna get our brushes. Okay, so we got it semi clean up here. We're gonna rinse it off and see what's left. Ooh! Oh, you're spraying me! Jeez! Super dirty! Oh. You got me a little. You're looking like you're clean for sure. You're a good helper, aren't you, Rocky? Huh? I don't know that we need your help cleaning though. Yeah, not not right now. Thank you. It's kinda leaking on the sunroof type thing. You know? Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's still leaking. Otherwise, I think we're good. Okay, so we got the back part of the roof clean-ish. Uh, we're gonna work on the sides for now till we get another ladder out here, huh? Yeah. So I like to just give this a little wetness. Before I spray the bleach, it works better that way. Bleach a little bit more. Nice. 
There she is. She looks good when we need her done. a lot. Yeah. Well, it wasn't really moldy. It was just like algae. Or yeah. So I also got this mold control. Stops and prevents mold and mildew. I'm going to give her a little squirt of this. Pretty crusty. It's a big difference already. Looky there. About finished with the back part. Looking better. Okay, so I got my stain remover, mold and mildew cleaner, and also have some home remedy mold mildew cleaner in the bucket. We're gonna see if we can get this cleaned up. You can see it's got a lot of nastiness on it. Probably been a minute since it's been cleaned, so here we go. Oh yeah, it's working. Good. Yeah. It's important not just to clean it, but actually remove the mold and mildew. So it don't come back. So it doesn't come back, it doesn't make it stick. That's working really good. Yeah. Because it's looking pretty good in here. Maybe this would be okay. Yeah, that's working good. Yeah. Well, I was going to be excited. She doesn't even know we've done this. Oh, yeah. We haven't told her either. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be funny. This is probably one of my favorite decisions we've made. Really? Yes. Car decisions. That's funny. It's an investment. <laughs> the tiny hands are also an investment. <laughs> Carks are probably your favorite investment. <laughs> Looking good. You think dad's gonna be surprised when he gets home? Probably. He thinks everything's gonna turn out terrible <laughs> and it's not gonna clean up right. Oh yeah. See, I bet you could take all this wood out that's up here and just put like a piece of, what's it called? You know, plywood? Like, yeah, a piece of plywood and just set it up there and you'd be good. She's a beautiful Clark. She's a beaut, yeah. Kind of disgusting. Oh, yeah. Curtains that got to go. Okay. Got to go for sure. Get these screws out and take these old nasty blinds and curtains and stuff down. Okay, so we figured out it unzips. We're going to uh, take these off and wash them. Taking off the things. I mean, I think they've been clean on the motorhome today uh, after I got it moved for them yesterday. Uh, I'm interested to see what they've got done and how it looks because uh, we don't know if this thing's salvageable yet or not. But we'll see in just a minute uh, what it looks like after their work today. Oh man, it's looking so much better already. Oh yeah, it cleaned up a lot better. They should have done that before they tried to sell it, huh? Oh uh, yeah. It looks, so it looks a better. lot better. So what are you thinking? Man, look how clean the front end looks. I know, it looks awesome. <laughs> it's it looks brand new. new up here. Look at the, we cleaned the door panels. Wow. Yeah, the door panels. Wow. That looks brand, I knew it would turn out good because I could tell they weren't all rotten, you know. I like the carpet looks awesome. Does it, look, they've painted a blue stripe on this side. I, I noticed that. Like oh, they've tried yeah. to. Man, you guys did good. So you just used bleach and a brush or something? Yeah. So you got a little whiskey dent there. On both sides. Both sides. That's understandable. Did you work on the roof or no? Okay, so we cleaned from like the coffee can back 
But I was standing on top of this and I almost knocked it over. The coffee can? Yeah, you see it's attached oh. up there. I almost fell over like three times and that was taller up there. That was enough for you? And we didn't pressure wash it because I thought it would just like create a huge hole. <laughs> Ooh, this, this ladder is a little iffy. So that's like bare aluminum there. Well, that looks new. That that vent looking thing. Hey, if you spray water on it, it goes through and leaks down in the car. Does it leak really bad? Well, I can probably get I on this roof, figure something out. So do you think it's going to be campable? Yes, very well. With a little bit of changes, yeah. Like, yeah. Good job, guys. It was a lot of work. It like it, it like work. tripled its value washing it though. Put it back on yeah, I can put it back on marketplace and make some money on it. Oh yeah, the carpet looks clean. Man, those door panels are like perfect. You want to go look inside? Yeah, I'll go look at it. Dude, what did you do with our mattress, honey? Our mattress. Ain't no honey. Our mattress, nothing. There's no way in the world. You're not gonna camp with that? Not in the, not in the least. No, no. All right, Rocky, you gonna check it out for us? Came to inspect. You're a good inspector. I knew that would have to get pulled down for sure. Is it bad? Okay. See, but you could take that wood off because it's just sitting there. And then just put a new piece of wood there. And there you go. There goes your leg. Yeah, there goes your leg. Storage in here. That mm -hmm. makes sense. It has Everything so has storage. We're going to have to hook some power up and see what we're turn doing. the propane on and see how this works. What do you think about it? Mom's been cleaning it. It's, um, Does it smell better? Yes. Yeah. I think you can camp it. Maybe. No. no, you don't think so? No. You don't Why? think you'll be able to camp in it? Well, I mean, it's, um, something. <laughs> oh, there's the thermostat right there. Okay. I mean, what do you think is the minimum we're going to have to do to get it campable if we do it? I don't know that we shouldn't take this stuff down. Just Because it's clearly not holding on. No, and I know what's behind it is probably... Not good? Not good. My idea would be take it down, spray it with this mold mildew. Seal the top. Maybe get some of that paneling like you used to do that shelf in the Falcon, and just put it back up. Well, it seems like the floor is solid. Like, yeah, the floor. I didn't. I didn't find any spots that felt like I was going to fall from anything. Well, I mean, I hate to rip the ceiling down after you've already vacuumed, but I didn't vacuum in there, so that's okay. Ooh. And like the shelves, I think you should leave the shelves because I think they're helping it structurally. Just leave yeah. it, and we'll I'll clean cut it. around them. Yeah. Just do the bare minimum. The bare minimum that we can do and still breathe. I'm with you on that. But, I mean, if we can get the roof to stop leaking enough to, and we can get the AC unit or replace it and we get one working, get the AC working on the truck, get the brake leak fixed. It's just that and not leak. That's why it only has 57,000 miles. Yeah, it's not, they were like super nasty and didn't take care of it. It was just, yeah. it was sad. Well, you can tell when they've been lived in by a crackhead. Yes, yes Usually can. there's a couple holes in the wall. Yeah. Couple things twisted and taped. And cabinets be ripped off the corner. I think I think our other one may have had a crackhead in it at one point. Uh, I you think we could get an air horn for it? No, they do not make them. I think it would make a great like you come into the campsite, you really want to announce that you're there. No, you don't. You no, want people to know you you're there. You don't run off. You, you don't need any of this to prepare vainas at all. No. I think next step would be check the propane system, check the water system, check the electrical, and see if there's like something major wrong. Like what if you plug it in and it catches fire, you know? If the stuff we need works or can be fixed, then rip the ceiling down and start putting new stuff up. So how do we plug it in as if it works? Just gotta plug it in. Just plug it in the wall in the house. 110 power, 30 amp, because there's like a 30 amp service, like a 50 amp service. But somebody's put the wrong plug on this. But it just so happens to be the same kind of plug you would plug into our, our house. It'll be fine, right? That's plug. the most jankiest looking something I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah you, we'll have to change the end out to actually go camping. Look at that. It's melted, isn't it? Yeah, it's melted it. So I'm going to have to redo this just to even plug it into the wall. But all I did was twist them together and tape them. What in the Jeff Brown have they done here? You know it was your family. It was hot. We'll go ahead and hook the water up since it's pretty easy. Let's water is going to be disgusting at first. All right, turn it on, Ralphie. Oh, I heard it. I hear something. What do I hear? The shower. Oh, oh. <laughs> the shower was on. I didn't think about it. <laughs> okay. I think works. Where's this going to go? All right, it should go into the... Wastewater? Is it gray water tank? Is that what it's called? I thought it was waste water. 
I don't know. I'll just bark here. Oh yeah. We got one. Wait, does the toilet work? Try to flush know. it. Ooh. It's working. The toilet's working. Yay. The pops and stuff for the two tanks are missing. Did you just like empty it in the wood? I think that's illegal. Are you gonna be like off of an RV and get sprayed with poop? Probably at some point in this. I probably will get sprayed with poop. Okay. It started pouring the rain, and we're going to run out there to the camper and see if it's leaking. Go. Oh, my gosh. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. No. Is it locked? Go, go. Yeah, I'm first. Oh, my gosh. I got so soaked. Well, this is a good way to find our leaks, huh? It's got to be leaking somewhere. I mean, we've been out here like 10 minutes in the rain. We haven't seen a single drop. I thought it would be like pouring around the AC unit or something. Maybe they had it completely sitting level and it puddled. So Wawa was out of town when we made our latest purchase. So she hasn't seen it yet. What in the world? We already have one. I know, I know, I know. What? This one was cheap and it was bigger. I like it actually, believe it or not. I do like it. Wow. How weird's that, huh? I like it. Usually buy cars and don't run. I don't know, right? He just couldn't pass it up, though. This is wow. beauty. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more stuff in it than the other one. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot bigger. I like it. Okay, I'm back out here after several hours of hard rain, and we do have moisture right here on the floor. Looks like it's coming from right here, like I kind of expected it would. Yeah, it's a little damp there. It's all dry here. But it's not as bad as I thought. I was expecting this thing to be pouring water, you know? But it doesn't really seem that bad. Everything up here looks dry. Now we got moisture right here. Looks like it's leaking from right around where this crank is right here and running down that way. It's the next morning now after the big rain we had. And you can clearly see why this thing is leaking in between the AC unit and that vent because if you're up here, you can tell it's low in the middle. And somebody's tried to seal great stuff foam, which great stuff foam is not made to seal out water like that. And our other leak is right here where I think this is a, a satellite dish is leaking right about there and maybe a little bit with that vent, but it's really weak right there. You can't put any weight on it. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take that off completely. We don't need that anyway. Man, look at all the stuff under it. So I don't know if this gauge works, but it says the propane is full. So I hear that, hear it? Something must be on. Go out there and open the valve. Oh, my Jesus. Uh, I hear it. It's, it's in here. Underneath where the refrigerator was, there's a pop with no thing on it. All right. Crack it just a little bit. Maybe that's where it was coming out. I don't hear it like I did before. I don't hear it either. Oh. It, it's my my thumb's over it. When I let off, I, it came out. I, I figured it'd have a bunch of pressure. It didn't have hardly any pressure. So that's our leak right there. If we plug, that probably went to the refrigerator. Yeah, that's where our leak is, right there. We just need a fitting for that right there and plug it off, and uh, we should be good then. Or you could just, like, get a bolt sticking in there with some former gasket. <laughs> that doesn't work like that, especially not with your mama. Good morning, Vianya. I'm sorry I don't have RC Cola for you right now. I'll say hi to you too, Rocky. You being a good boy today? No? So I'm gonna cut all the burnt part off of here and uh, rewire what my wife's family did here on this one. See how much bigger these wires are? That's what's supposed to be in it. It's not supposed to have these little ones. I wish we had a 30 amp service plug in here at the house. Okay, so we got our test wire crimped on here. We're gonna go in and make sure we don't have any exposed wires that are touching each other and we're gonna plug it in here. So just don't touch those wires, honey, and you'll be fine. So if you hear a pop or a sizzle or smoke, let me know. Shut the front door. Yep, it doesn't have a knob on the off. You got pliers? I don't wanna break it. Man, I'm scared. Should I just leave it? Yeah, you should. I wanna pull this cover off and see if I can Turn that switch with the covers out of our way. Let's definitely turn this way. That stopped. Okay. Nothing's coming out. I think something's probably locked up in that thing. At some point. Okay. So that's off. Does this thing work? Oh, we need to heat something up. That works. You can cook anything you cook right there. Exactly. <laughs> that's all you need. We're at Lowe's now. We don't know if it's three-eighths or half-inch. I think it's three-eighths. Ralphie thinks it could be half-inch. 
Oh yeah, I knew I was right. Ralphie kind of thought it might have been a half inch, but you know, he's 10. <laughs> okay, so that's tight now. We should be able to turn it back on. Hopefully not have any propane leaks. See what happens. Do you uh, hear or smell anything? I don't hear anything. I don't smell anything or hear anything like we heard before. So that should have capped that off. Right, we're gonna try to light one of these burners here. But it's lighting, but I don't think we have enough propane. Look. Nope. Look at that. It works. We can cook something. Just think of a steaming pot of vainas on top of that right now. So that's awesome that that works. I'm really excited about that. So Wifey here found this control panel for the electrical. So we have it plugged back in. Let me see. Hear that? Let me see if we have power to these outlets now. <laughs> hey, we do have power that's now. That's crazy. So the breaker was just off. So this thing came with a key, but it doesn't seem to fit anything. Okay. Uh, Oh, that's a spare. I didn't even know. Blow it out. They done blow the casing. Look at that. It is still holding air. Can you believe that May Pop is still holding air? It's, that's not a May Pop. That's a dumb Pop. <laughs> Day two, trying to clean the top off without killing myself on the ladder. Got my helpers. We're getting it clean. That's a big difference. What's that like? Yeah, looks good. Jeez. Just in time. Oh, oh yeah? Can you help me with the I'd love to help you. I just ordered all the brake stuff and tune-up stuff for it. Good. Essentials. Just essentials. Just essentials. So here's this side. Looking all cruddy. Other side's getting shiny. You're doing a great job, honey. I'm gonna get back to editing though, okay? I guess it's a lot. Oh, we have our first working light, honey. That's amazing. That's incredible. Look, those are 12 volt lights there. Oh, that's the water pump for the fresh water tank. It works. All right, turn the light switch on. Oh yeah. So we got 12 volts there. So this, these lights are 12 volt lights. So now at least we know our converter works because we're getting 12 volts to these lights. Everything seems to be working, so that's good news. Because that's not cheap to replace. Hey, we got an outside light, too. I'll just keep flipping stuff. We'll get it. What? Joke her down. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Hold the phone. Let me do this. Don't worry, guys. Wife's on it. You're going to rip the wall off the motorhome. That's not working. I don't think you've ever done this before. We tried it your way. Now what? You think you can get it from up there or what? I think so. You watched your video? Yeah. Just pull on it. You help me. Well, I was over here. I was trying to video. What are you talking about? You messed up her awning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rocky's over there like, what the heck are they doing? Well, at least you watched the video and figured it out. Yeah. We'll just take this thing off. Sounds like a plan. Oh, oh. Golly, I'm gonna get hit in the head. This, it's all over. It's gonna happen. Well, I kind of got a break on this one. I didn't have to do a whole lot of work at all. I had to do too much work. Are you gonna open the bottle or not? Look, I she's don't... never opened one this way. <laughs> but anyway, you set me up. I, I didn't shake it, I promise. You set me up. Mom and Ralphie really worked their butts off on this one, trying to get that thing cleaned up. I mean, the thing really has surprised me. Like the water system works, electrical, you know, the propane system's working. Oh. But you know the deal, pour one out for your homies. It's the respectful thing to do. And drink your RC Colas, but you can expect future videos of this RV. Uh, it's looking like it's gonna be camp worthy. So we're going to try to probably start fixing the roof in the next video and maybe doing some more work to, you know, getting some lights in it. He needs a wing. Oh, you need one, there you go. <laughs> we really need a generator, probably. Probably. So, unfortunately, somebody stole a generator out of it. We're trying to get it running so we can take it on a trip this summer while the kids are off school. Rocky, you can't eat all of them. But what do you think? It's cleaned up pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. You can't have all the bite. Look at He's this. all about it today. I know. 
Blue Bane Yellow Bear. She's wanting some RC Cola. Yeah. You can check out our second channel at Sleeper Day 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Day 88. You can check out our merchandise below. We got t-shirts and stuff for sale right below the video you're watching. If you click on the t-shirt, it'll take you to the website that sells them. Uh, that's the only way to get our merchandise. We get a lot of questions about that. We're probably going to get back on that 52 Ford truck. We're uh, getting fixed up. We're gonna, probably going to work on it coming up soon. So we need to get back on the Fairmont and the Malibus and these old Chryslers. Uh, got to get back to the junkyard and get the rest of the cars that we we're trying to save over there. But we really appreciate you guys watching our videos. But we're going to try to get this thing done and take it on a trip coming up soon. So just stay tuned if you want to see more videos like this. And we haven't abandoned the Mini Winnie yet. We're not saying that. Um, you know, it's just not on the time frame. It's going to have to be an engine work now. I kind of like to overdrive, transmission swap it. So it's going to need a lot more work. And we're on a tight schedule here with the kids being off school this summer wanting to take a trip. We will see you guys in the next video. Poor mom. She has worked herself Poor to death. Poor mom worked. She really, did, she really did 90% of the work in this video because I had a bunch of editing to do. And uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie and mom did 90% of the work in this video. Thank you. So I know it's a little bit different kind of video than what we normally put out. I'm normally doing a lot of the work, but this time they were doing all the back breaking work. So slap that like button and subscribe if you're not already. I don't know what's happened to this boy <laughs> lately, but man. He's watched too many YouTube videos. He's, he's the hot man around here. Uh, we better give Vainia some RC color. Wee, she's gonna be, she's gonna be wee. mad at us. <laughs> Oh, she knows that. Mm -hmm. Gosh, she's so aggressive. Don't get your hands close. I know. You can't even get your hand in there. If you just stay still, you get more. Mmm, that's good. She loves her RC cola. Okay. Look, poor pudding. She's out here with the big goats now. She's all grown up now. Where's the big goat? Tell them bye. Huh? God, look, her belly's tight today. She's been eating all morning. What are you doing? All right, we'll see you guys later.